the lazy peon. What's up guys and welcome back to another World of Warcraft video. Today I want to show you how you can create a decent transmog in about 15 minutes. Most people may already be aware of this but this video is mainly aimed at newer players that possibly don't know about it. So before the release of Warlords of Draenor there was quite a lot of armour sets and transmog pieces that could be bought with a currency known as Justice Points and you earned these by just farming heroic dungeons. However, for the launch of Warlords this currency was removed and everything that previously cost justice points is now obtainable with gold. So what I'm going to show you is all the different armour sets that you can buy just using gold. With this knowledge you'll be able to throw together a decent transmog very quickly. So the first vendor I'm going to show you is named Giras and can be found in the centre of Shatraf city. Burning Crusade tier set pieces aren't available to buy for gold, but this vendor still has a few offset pieces and quite a few transmog items from the troll dungeons. Here's a look at some of the items you can pick up. The next place we're going to look is Dalaran, and this is usually the first place I come to find a transmog set. For Alliance you can find your justice vendors inside the Silver Enclave, and for Horde you can find your vendors inside the Sunreavers Sanctuary. So here you'll find 5 vendors that will sell you various armour pieces and sets for gold. Here's a list of a few things you can buy from them. A full set of Season 5 Deadly Gladiators PvP gear, full set of Season 5 Savage Gladiators PvP gear, Full set of Season 5 Hateful Gladiators PvP gear, Full set of Season 6 Furious Gladiators PvP gear, Full set of Season 7 Relentless Gladiators PvP gear, A crown and breastplate of the Wayward Vanquisher tokens, and you can use these to buy the head and chest of your class's tier 8 25 player gear. Two different chest, hands and waist combos that match, Two different head and shoulder combos that also match, Tokens for the tier 5 25 man shoulders and legs, and tokens for the tier 7 10 man chest and gloves. Other than these vendors, there's also the cloth, leather, mail and plate vendors in Dalaran, that will each sell you the 10 player versions of the tier 9 and tier 10 armour sets for your class. I'll put their locations on screen now. There's also a shirt, cloak, boot and head vendor upstairs in the building where the cloth wearers buy their tier 9 and 10 gear. The building's called the Threads of Fate and they have a few items that leather, mail and plate users can wear. You can also buy shields from the shield merchant in the plate armour shop and some epic weapons from a few of the specific weapon shops. So the next place I'm going to show you to buy transmog gear is in your capital cities, either Stormwind or Ogrimmar, depending on your faction. In Stormwind there's three vendors inside this building in Old Town, and in Ogrimmar the vendors are located here inside the Valley of Strength. These vendors will sell you the following, a full set of your class's tier 11 normal mode gear, a full set of your class's tier 12 normal mode gear, a few offset pieces of tier 13 gear, and various cloaks, boots, belts, weapons and offhands. The final place we're going to head to is in Pandaria at the Nilzau Temple which is located here. There's three vendors here that will sell you some transmog pieces but to be honest it's not that great. The quartermaster that sells the better gear requires you to have a reputation with the Shadow Pan Assault and personally I don't think the aesthetics of that gear is worth the effort of a rep grind. So I'd say this is probably the last place you should come when transmogging. Okay, so although I've shown you all the places you can buy gear from for gold, there is one place I want to show you where you can buy pre wrath of the Lich King PvP gear from, as a lot of newer players probably won't be aware of this place. So if you go to a place called Area 52 in Neverstorm, you can buy the Season 1, Season 2 and Season 3 PvP armour sets for honour. Also, if you have a rated battleground rating or 3v3 rating over 1800, you can buy the replica Knight Lieutenants and the High Warlords PvP gear from Vanilla and use it as transmog. I'm not 100% sure if that's the requirements to unlock it in Warlords, but in Mist of Pandaria, I was able to buy it with a 1800 rating on my warrior. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the 5 step process I go through when I decide to make a transmog. There is no right or wrong way of transmogging, this is just how I like to approach it. Step 1. 
find an armor set that I really like. Step 2. Find another armor set that I like with a similar color combination to the first set. Step 3. Mix and match that armor to make a half and half armor set transmog. Step 4. Buy a weapon, cloak, waist, boots and wrist item that suit the transmog either from the auction house or the vendors in Shatrath, Dalaran or your capital city. Step 5. Swap out the armor set pieces for something from a different set or an off piece until you're left with a unique transmog where each slot has something from a different armor set or tier. Now for a few transmog tips to those of you who may be new to transmogging or the game in general. When buying transmog gear from a vendor, it's sometimes worth checking the box in the top right corner to make sure it says all. Otherwise, the vendor may not display some items to you, as by default, they only show gear that's got the right stats for your spec. Obviously, we don't care about stats when transmogging. By default, if you hold control and click on a piece of gear, it will show you what that piece of gear will look like on your character. Installing an add-on such as Mogget will help you build a transmog to see what it looks like before you've actually obtained any of the pieces. Installing an add-on called Atlas Loot could help you decide what tier sets you like the most without travelling to the vendors to look at them. If you go to the website Icy Veins, they have a whole section in the website dedicated to transmog. You can look at every single armour set for your class all on one page making it very easy to compare them and help you figure out what one you like the most. You can also display each transmogable piece of gear for a specific slot too. This is a great resource for transmogging, one I'd highly recommend. And finally, if you can't find a piece of gear to fit your transmog from a vendor, the next place worth looking is the auction house. Just before we end this video, I just thought I'd show you all my characters as a lot of you have requested it before. So this is my warrior. I haven't really finished his transmog, so far I've just combined the Relentless Gladiators PvP gear with the Grievous Gladiators PvP gear, which seems to work well. I haven't been able to find a tabard to suit his set yet, other than the Dark Spear one, which is obviously Horde only, which sucks. This is my Warlock. I pretty much threw this transmog together in about 30 minutes using the Warlock tier 9 set and buying the rest off the auction house. This is only really a temporary transmog as I know I'll be able to do much better because Warlocks have some amazing armor sets. This is my Hunter. As you can see, I haven't really done anything with him. He's just wearing the prideful PvP set from Mr. Vandaria. However, I am in the process of farming the Hunter tier 8 10 man shoulders and helm from Oldua because I think it will suit the set nicely. This is my druid, my main character and the one I've put the most effort into with his transmog. Each piece of gear is from a different set and it took me quite a long time to put it all together. For my rogues transmog I just used the Bloodfang set with the tier 6 shoulders and a prideful PvP belt with a cloak and gloves that drop from Zolgrub. My Paladin's Transmog mostly consists of things you can buy from the Justice Vendors combined with a few pieces from the Auction House and the Lightbringer Helm. Although it only took me about 20 minutes to put together, I really like this Transmog. I'm not entirely happy with my Shaman's Transmog, although I did only spend about 10 minutes putting it together. It mostly consists of Tier 11 combined with a PvP Helm from Pandaria. There's definitely a lot of work to be done on this guy. My Mage currently wears the Season 14 Grievous Gladiator set from Pandaria, Although I really like this set, I'm actually planning on making a new transmog for her, where I'll combine the Relentless Gladiators PvP gear with the Mage Tier 7 Frostfire shoulders and robe. My Death Knight's basically just wearing a combination of Mist of Pandaria PvP gear. I'm not really happy with it, so he'll definitely need some work too. My Priest is mostly wearing the Tier 13 set from Dragon Soul, although I need to replace those shoulders with the set ones that drop from Hagara the Stormbinder. For some reason I decided to make my priest a worgen female called Dog Mode, which is kind of retarded and I really need to give her a race and name change. For some reason in my infinite wisdom I decided to be a female panda monk, which also needs a race and name change. Monks don't have many options when it comes to transmogs since they were only added in MOP, so this transmog she's wearing is one I made in about 15 minutes from just buying things from various justice vendors. So that's it for this video guys, as always I hope some of you will find it helpful. I know I'm not the best person in the world at making transmogs so if I missed anything out or you'd do something differently to the way I do things, feel free to mention it in the comments because you never know, you may teach me a thing or two. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you did give it a like as it always helps, or even subscribe to my channel if you want to see more content from me in the future. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.